Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a couple days, um, but this evening, um, this evening's project, I gotta get the bush hog hooked up to the John Deere there. Um, got some um, some tall grass out here in the front pasture field. I want to get clipped down, and then also some uh, Johnson patches of Johnson grass. In a couple of hay fields, but um, before I get started, gotta break out the WD. I don't know who in the world did John Deere designed the end of this PTO shaft on this bush hog with the twist collar, but it is a pain in the you know what to uh, get on the tractor. So gotta take some WD. Good old WD works wonders. Should be good to go. Once I get it hooked up, I uh, gotta grease it and then uh, <clears throat> set that um, gauge wheel down. That way, that the bush hog is more level and that it doesn't. Um, cut as much of the grass but I'll explain that here in just a little bit what I'm talking about I've already got the pins removed uh, from here and on that side <coughs> and all those pins do is just let me adjust these three point arms in or out of course I got them out as wide as they'll go then once I get it pulled out of the barn um, I want to get the PTO shaft um, as straight as possible and then also adjust it to where there's not a lot of movement side to side uh, what I was talking about earlier on those arms you can see what the pins not in the PTO or the bush hog is able there's a lot of movement side to side but I want to keep that PTO shaft in line um, where it hooks up the tractor as straight as possibly can um, because if not it could cause a uh, vibration so now I've got my tools out and almost ready got my jack and block of wood under there who knows if that's OSHA approved or not, but I don't see OSHA around to tell me any different. So that's just how it's gonna have to be. Um, but the only reason I'm doing that is to just pick up the rear end of the bush hog. And then I'm gonna take this bolt out, put the arms here, take these bolts out, put them down here, these lower holes. sure what the deal is with that darn bolt now of course I've tried the impact I've even tried the breaker bar so I don't know what the deal is normally I just zip it right off zip it back on and I'm on my way but I believe I'm going to have to soak it in a, either WD or some kind of penetrating oil and leave it overnight and hopefully Hopefully I can get to it before Granddad can get on the tractor tomorrow whenever I get home from work. Just setting the bush hog up like I'm fixing to set it up. All it's going to do is cut the tops of this uh, stuff here. And then uh, some of that stuff kind of looks like a crow's foot. But then it's going to leave the uh, tender grass down there on the bottom. Because if I'd have left the bush hog sitting the way it was, kind of at an angle it would end up 
course cutting the tall stuff but then also uh, cutting some of that um, tender undergrowth there and uh, that's not really wanting to do that especially this time of year um, well, I actually just come out of a little bit of a drought there for about two to three weeks um, everything was starting to look kind of rough but I'm thankful for the rain that the Lord uh, sent us over the past week or so uh, the pasture fields and the hay fields um, all have certainly greened up and are doing good so far uh, just come up here to check on something here at the house um, it's not been grown here at the farm I'm guessing about 50 55 years I'm guessing I could be wrong but it's uh, corn actually um, we're calling this Gracie's um, little uh, corn plot here and uh, no we didn't actually plant corn in the flower bed it's actually um, we we'll believe it's the out of the bird seed mix uh, we put in Gracie's little feeder over there uh, the birds have just simply dropped it right here and uh, of course uh, some of these stalks are pretty good they've got some decent ears on them um, it's not the best looking corn but for being planted where it's at it is doing uh, awfully well so I've got a three-year-old that is very happy to see if there'll be any corn um, growing these stalks um, here soon. I'm going to end the video here, so thanks for going along with me this evening. I know it's kind of a short video, not really exciting. Not that any of these videos are exciting, but thanks to those that uh, continue to watch, tune in each week, um, the ones that give a like and subscribe. Uh, that doesn't go unnoticed so if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to get notifications of future videos um, just hit that subscribe button and uh but other than that um it is time for dinner my grandmother called says she's got dinner waiting on me so i'm gonna get in the tan sedan and i'm gonna head across town and get me something good to eat so uh thanks for tuning in Hopefully y'all have a great rest of your week, um, but please remember in these uh, hot temperatures to stay hydrated, and as y'all already know, I'll see y'all next time.